Cape St. Lawrence Lighthouse, the Timmins Family Home for 16 Years by Frank McDonald. Hilda Moore of Pleasant Bay spent her childhood in Cape St. Lawrence where her father was the lighthouse keeper. In a recent letter from her sister, Ruth, Hilda was reminded of those Cape St. Lawrence days and bought out some old photographs. The Cape St. Lawrence Lighthouse, just up the coast from Meat Cove, had a 65-foot tower connected to the living quarters where James John Timmons and his wife, Margaret and Fraser, brought their six children from Pleasant Bay in 1929. Shortly after their arrival there, Ruth recalled in a letter to her sister, the earthquake that struck in 1929 was responsible for the death of several people in Newfoundland. Ruth, writing to her sister, recalled that Clayton and I were out after the cows when we felt the earth moving. I'm sure our tracks were left in the cliff up there. I remember my father leaving to take all the kerosene out of the lighthouse in case fire broke out. That happened about two weeks after we got there, Hilda said. The barrels of kerosene were used to keep the lighthouse lit. During the years when her father, and later other members of the family, manned the lighthouse there were no shipwrecks, but during the war, James Timmons reported all the ships he observed from the lighthouse tower as part of his job. The six Timmons children, Clayton, Freeman, Andrew, Ruth, Hilda, and Margaret, needed to go to school so James Timmons built one near the lighthouse, and Hector Moore came from Pleasant Bay to be the teacher. With the school available, many of the children from the surrounding area attended. There were the Frasers living near there. All their children went to that school. When James John Timmons retired from the lighthouse, he returned to Pleasant Bay. In her letter to her sister, Ruth recalls her trip to Pleasant Bay when she received news that her father had passed away. She had to snowshoe over North Mountain on the 25th of March to attend the funeral. Since the days when the Timmons family grew up there, the lighthouse at Cape St. Lawrence has been torn down and replaced with an electronic version, but in recent years, Hilda Moore has been recalling the life the family lived there during those years, and keeping those memories alive through letters to and from her family.